Okay, cool. Let's do it. Great. Hey, everybody. I'm Jimmy from Superpath here today with Kayla Tikas from Solve. Going to be talking about a content marketing manager role that you're hiring for. Uh, but first, maybe let's zoom out. Kayla, could you just tell us a little bit about Solve? Kind of who is Solve? What is Solve? And actually, and you tell us about you too. Totally. So my name is Kayla. I oversee provider marketing here at Solve. My background is doing marketing on the B2B side of marketplace businesses throughout my whole career. So um, I've been doing that at companies from startups up through enterprises in a variety of industries and joined Solve about six months ago to build out our B2B marketing org and help scale it as we scale our company. Um, and what Solve does is our mission is to Eliminate the stress of everyday healthcare. You can book a restaurant, uh, a hotel room from your phone, but you can't book a doctor's appointment um, like that today. And so that's really um, you know, what we're setting out to solve is managing your everyday healthcare needs um, from your phone in a simple consumer-friendly way, just like you would every other industry and brand that you interact with. That's super cool. That's super cool. Um, how, like, how big is a company roughly? Like how many people? So we just hired our hundredth employee. So oh, we cool. are still pretty small, but scaling really fast. Um, by the end, um, within the next twelve months, we're hoping to be over two hundred employees. So cool. it's a really high growth phase for the company right now, and an exciting time to join. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. And how about marketing? Like, what does the marketing team look like? Are you guys assuming remote? Um, you know, like, what are the kind of different functions of marketing right now? Yeah, so our we have consumer and provider marketing that focus on the, the dual sides of our marketplace. Um, we work really closely together across teams on the provider marketing side. We're about four team members right now, hiring one to two more, including this content role. Um, so again, a really great time to join and help kind of build the foundation of this marketing team across um, some of the other roles. We have our demand gen, life cycle, industry marketing, and then this content marketing is going to play a huge role, um, powering a lot of our campaigns, building brand awareness and thought leadership. Um, as far as the team itself, um, Solves headquarters is in San Francisco. So that's where I would say 30 to 40 percent of our employees are based there. We have another hub in Denver, which is where a lot of our sales and customer service are based. And then the rest of us are um, located throughout the country. So our marketing team specifically, I'm in Los Angeles. Um, we have someone in the Bay Area, someone in New York, and someone in Charlotte, North Carolina. So wherever you are in the US, um, we're really flexible for um, you know remote work and collaboration across time zones. I love it. That's awesome. Um, who's the person for this role? Like what a Kind of what what skill set are they bringing, or maybe um, like what types of things have they been working on over the past couple of years that will have prepared them well for it? Great question. So I think there's a few things that would be great for someone for this role. Is one someone who's not afraid to just come in and build something from the ground up. Um, if you ask me what our content strategy is today, I would say whatever we need to do that week um, because we're a small team and we're scaling fast. So someone who's excited to help bring some strategy, bring more process um, without over-processizing, is that even a word? Um, <laughs> things um, so that we can continue to scale fast. Someone who has used content um, and tied it to revenue goals. Um, our mm. marketing team reports into the revenue org. Um, so we work really closely with sales, operations, and our provider product team um, to work on our goals and think about how marketing um, has a measurable impact on the goals. And, and Solve's marketing team has a, a meaningful impact on, on revenue here. And so this role will be a part of that. Um, and then two is I think, or. I guess number three is someone who um, has has thought about how to differentiate a brand and a, a voice. Healthcare is a crowded space. Um, and I think one of the unique differentiators Solve has is our consumer marketplace. And we have the opportunity to be in the same way that we want to make healthcare friendlier for consumers. Let's make it friendlier for providers too. We don't have to be stodgy just because we're mm -hmm. healthcare. And how can we be um, you know, a voice that is respected and established, but also kind of breaks through the noise and, and builds trust within, you know, healthcare providers who are typically not always uh, easy to build trust with. But I think this content role and, and our, the way we build our brand and our, our, our voice is going to play a huge part of that. That's cool. That's cool. I really appreciate that um, content falls under revenue already. Like I've just, I've experienced a number of companies that I've either worked at or been on the agency side where like that comes later. It's like content has been doing its own thing for a long time. And then some one day somebody says, hey, we need to tie this back to revenue. And then it's actually really complicated to do it if each has been kind of operating independently for a long time. So that's awesome. You're already totally. set up that way. Totally. Um, will, will you work directly with this person? Will you manage them? 
Yes, so this role reports directly into me um, and I report into our chief revenue officer. Um, so it's a pretty flat organization and the rest of the, the team is flat as well. So again, as we scale and continue to grow, there will be opportunities to, to hire, build out networks of freelancers and, and hire potentially people under this role as, as you continue to grow. But to start, um, it's a, a pretty flat org. Okay, cool. Um, uh, speaking of that, the, what, I want to ask you about the, the title. So content marketing <laughs> manager is like, obviously like a, a common title in our space. I find that sometimes it means like, you know, like uh, fairly junior folks who are doing primarily content creation. Sometimes it means fairly senior folks running strategy and managing a team of folks who do the writing, maybe freelancers or contractors or whatever. Where, where does this fall on that spectrum? Great question. So um, my philosophy in hiring and our philosophy at Solve is, is hire really great talent who's going to help us scale the business. And so um, I would encourage anyone to apply regardless of your you know years of experience, whether you feel like you don't have enough or you feel like you might be overqualified. We are always happy to have a conversation about title, um, you know, compensation, what the impact you'd have on the org. Um, so if you feel like maybe you're bringing a bit more experience and hey, you already have a manager title and are looking to level up, um, that's actually a conversation I like to have in the very first interview is let's talk about your expectations nice. and what you're looking for. Um, and we can adapt that, you know, depending on your, your experience, where you're located, things like that. Um, all of that is, is up for conversation. And we'd rather hire the best person for the role than be limited by, oh, we wanted someone with X years of experience and, and this is, you know, we're putting a hard line there. Um, anyone who is excited about the opportunity and has experience to bring to the table, whether a few years or many, um, I'd love to chat with you. I love it. That's awesome. That's awesome. I actually get a lot of messages in our Slack community from folks saying like, oh, I really think this job's really cool. Like, I'm not quite sure I should apply. Like, you know, on the list of requirements, I only meet three of the four things. I generally said people like, you got to apply, like put yourself right. out there because <laughs> you don't know, like most the job listing doesn't always match up exactly with like what the company really wants. And like when you establish those relationships, anyways, I don't need to tell you this, blah, blah, blah. So you should apply. If you're thinking about it, you should just apply. Totally. Um, if you've never worked for a startup before, or, you know, one of the things that I think is great is I, I was at a startup. I, I've had, again, I've had different experience across enterprises, startups. Um, if you haven't, don't have all the experience on the, the job description, you'll get to learn it. And that's one of the benefits about being at a startup mm -hmm. is you're going to, you have a role and, you know, my goal is to make sure that people are confident in their goals, how to be successful, but also we're a small team and people are going to flex different ways. And, you know, we all kind of work together. And I think joining a startup, especially a fast growth one like Solve is a great way to learn new skills that you maybe wouldn't get to try elsewhere and, and find either things that, hey, maybe this isn't your strength, but hey, actually this is something I never even thought would be part of content or something I'd be interested in. And you'll get a chance to try it and, and learn something new and hopefully grow and develop in your career. That's awesome. Um, one last question for you. Um, are there certain things that would stand out in an application? You know, like, uh, do you want to see writing samples? Do you want to see like, kind of like a case study of like results that a person has generated at a past company or, or something else? Yeah. So as part of the process, we would ask for a few writing samples. So if you want to include them in your initial application, that's always welcome. I think the other thing is, as I mentioned, you know, this role is focused on impact to the business in terms of revenue or pipeline generation. Um, if you have anything that you can highlight on your resume or just, you know, your note, um, feel free to, to highlight any measurable impact that you've had, how you've tied content to KPIs in the past, whether that was driving organic traffic, whether that was increasing conversion um, or, or whatever that might be. Um, I think showing that previous experience doing that will definitely stand out. Um, though if you haven't had that experience and you're, you're able to connect what you've done previously to other goals and that ways that might relate, um, don't don't shy away. Um, but certainly, if you've done that in the past, um, certainly highlight that and include it. Cool, cool. I'll also just throw out to people, um, which we do for a lot of jobs. If you want someone to just take a look at writing samples or a resume or whatever, feel free to shoot me a DM. I'm always happy to like offer a little feedback before you send in an application, um, and I will also cheer you on. Um, cool, Kayla. Thank you. Anything else that I, I should have asked you about this role or about solve that I didn't? No, I think we covered it all. Um, yeah, if anyone has questions, I know you can reach out to Jimmy. I'm happy to, to connect with people as well. Connect with me on LinkedIn, um, you know, and definitely apply. Um, but certainly would love to um, meet some of you all and hope that, um, you know, I can 
it's, I, I said before, but it's just a really exciting growth moment at Solve um, and would love to give someone the opportunity to join us on this, this ride as we grow and scale. Yeah, yeah. Go apply. <laughs> it sounds awesome. Gail, thanks so much. I appreciate your time. Uh, honestly, it means a lot to me and to the community when folks are willing to do this because we just learn so much and we get to meet you and learn about the company. So it's awesome. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. Talk soon. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.